We need to georeference these two symmetries from Abu Wawash. These are symmetries F on the left and M on the right. And in Porter and Moss, they form map two, but they aren't located in this relationship to each other on the ground. And so I've had to uh, crop them into two separate images before I can import them into the GIS. So this is the area of Abu Rawash. The pyramid is obviously down here, the left. And the cemeteries we're talking about are over here. So that's cemetery F and cemetery M is here. Now, we've already added, here they are, cemetery F and cemetery M. Now, cemetery F is down here. This is far too zoomed out at the moment. I'm just going to zoom in my screen a bit to that area. There we go. Right, now. That's 2000. Let's try 2000. It's come up quite nicely. You can see very clearly, actually, that these are muster bars with rather attractive little pockmarks in them where their shafts are. <clears throat> so if we've got that already on, just checking cemetery F, there it is. And we fit to display. And you can see it's much too big now. It's also um, opaque, so we'll go to the double click for the properties. I've got it already on display. Put it on 50% transparency, makes it easier to see. Yeah, so if we just pan the map a little bit. Okay, so that shouldn't be too difficult to find. Although it's not the absolutely most easy. Uh, Geo-referencing task I've ever done. Um, we have to zoom in a bit more. Right, it's getting a bit better now. Just going to move this. So it looks to me like that is that. There's something there, and that is that. Yeah, because you've got that bit there, and that's that. Okay, so I think we've actually figured out what we're looking at. So, yeah, so that would be there. That's this little thing in here, presumably. That must be 15. 7 must be this big one here. That one there. Use. Okay, and we work backwards. That would be this one. That would be three, and that would be so. It's it's this top group we're talking about up here. So we need to basically that, isn't it? So that's four hundred eighty-two. So if I put that five hundred, and then fit to display, you can see we're starting to get something that looks a little bit more like the Mastabas. So that one's presumably that. Yeah, okay. Um, just to check to see if they're... Sometimes the easiest way to see if the scale is right is just a little bit of measuring. So this master bar at the front from here to here to here is... 40 meters okay just close that up so how far is it here this is its representation that's pretty close actually that's 39 so it's a little bit too small now it's always better to have um a image for georeferencing that is too big rather than slightly too small so we're going to just ever so slightly increase the scale. I think 525 should be quite ample. Fit to display. Okay, so now what is it? Is it... Okay, so it's 41. So that's adequate. That's perfectly fine. Plenty of space in there for us to... So that, that should go there. So you can see actually when I, when I put it like that, it does actually fit quite well over the top there. Now the next job is to start pinning it down. So these are the control points that are just gonna, it's it's literally like sticking a pin in a map. So yeah, that's quite a good point up there. So it's quite well defined on the ground. There we go. 
just turn it off very quickly yeah so that's that's pretty good pretty happy with that now um, we want a point at the top here now there clearly was one there do we think we could use that hmm. I'll tell you what we'll pop one in there and just see if that actually works because that does look quite does look quite good there Hmm, not too dreadful at all. Um, perhaps a little bit too short though. This is why I'm a little bit worried about this one because it's not as clear as perhaps I'd like it to be. Now we need to put one on this side of the map or the control points will not be well collimated. Um, it'll go wonky basically. So what we're going to do is this corner here looks pretty good. It certainly looks better than that corner on the map. So if we just pop one in there just quickly turn that off so that should presumably be somewhere there we'll turn it back on again and you can see already it's looking quite quite good We're missing a couple Well, that's quite a good wall there. I'm wondering if we can use that. That point there looks like the corner. Well, that one. Let's try that one and see what happens. Just turn this off. It's actually easier to see the underlying map if you turn them off. So that looks like the corner of the master bar to me. Okay. <clears throat> now I've got quite a few. Let's try just turning off two. So that's that reckons it's only 1.1 meter out. All right. But that looks, see, that looks quite good. So that looks like it's pretty much, yeah, pretty much on the right point there. So that that's quite pleasing. Again, this master bar looks like it's in the right place. Yeah, so this is quite a good wall again. Mm, that's, that's quite good. That's on point there, you see. So let's just add a couple more pins because these will just help us to narrow it down a bit. So that that was pretty much perfect. I think that was pretty much bang on. So it's right in line with that bit of wall up there. Really nice. And that bit of wall there. Okay. There we go. And the other one is, I think, this one. Is there a better to have along the bottom here that's quite a good angle what about that angle there right, so I think this corner is also just slightly up there there we go that's basically my mind on there okay now it's actually quite difficult to get anything looking much better than that um <clears throat> bearing in mind that the satellite imagery itself probably only has a maximum of about 40 to 50 centimeter resolution so you're never going to get it under that much unless you're very lucky but we have got a pretty a pretty good alignment here of of 0.9 root mean square error so if we just turn off the right so it reckons that one that two is the furthest out so if i just turn off two and just quickly turn off this i mean it's a bit fuzzy in there so it's entirely possible that that one meter was my mistake so i'm i believe these points here much more than i believed two so i'm actually going to delete two because i don't think that's helpful so we've now got a root mean square error of 0 0.29 that's very very acceptable i'm going to include that into my Point three zero. remember rounding it up and tick that box so that's 
that's done, that's recorded, and now we rectify. Rectify, we're going to save this together with its world file so that we know where it is. We just check 3a and then we put it in the georeference folder because it's georeferenced now. Map 2, Abu Rawash, Symmetry F, page 368a. It's a TIFF because we're saving it as a slightly higher resolution file than a JPEG. We're going to press save. Good. Now, we need to add the georeferenced file. So you see, we're adding the data. Georeference. Here it is, symmetry F, add. And then that opaque one, that's the one we we've just created and we're just going to put it into the relevant bit of our table of contents so it's in Portrait of Moss 3a here it is and then I'm going to remove the one that I georeferenced from I'm going to remove that you see the um, link table goes blank turn it off and then we save and that's all done we've now georeferenced symmetry f